Okay, so here we are, week two, playing, again, the worst list in the world, uh, playing Hammer and Anvil uh, against Eldar with the stupid minus one to hit. So, got a Wraith Knight, we got a Flyer. That's the, is that the uh, Psychic Flyer? Yeah, it's the Wraith and Tower Yes, it's the Psychic Flyer. So it's got the Psychic yeah, with the auto hit weapons? Yes. Okay, so the Broken Flyer and a bunch of infantry. So, but mostly short range and close combat. So this should be a very interesting game, actually. Um, I did finish the point first, so I do get the plus one. I rolled a two, that's not good. Four, so I gotta try and seize the initiative here. Nope, gonna be Eldar turn one. Okay, so into turn one, shooting. Uh, he put minus one's invul save on here, but didn't do very well. Two wounds to that, killed one of that custom mega cannon. Put four wounds on the bunker, six wounds on this truck, four wounds on that truck, and that was it. So I survived pretty surprisingly. So going on to my turn one. Okay, so into turn one, uh, not horrible. Uh, repaired the truck, repaired the mech gun. I uh, did shoot it, did, did eight wounds to this with a combination of mech guns, tank busters. He made a bunch of five up saves, otherwise he'd probably be dead. So he's got four wounds left. Killed the Banshee, killed the Autark, killed three out of this unit. Yeah, three fire avengers out of that unit. Seven Dire Avengers out of that unit. He um, used command points to keep them around. I mobbed up two units of boys so they were able to stay around. These guys will probably get snipered. And yeah, that was it. So going on to top of two. Okay, so middle of turn two only. Over here, Scorpions came in, failed their charge. Banshees moved up uh, twice because of the psychic power assaulted in. Only killed one Grop, but my, my Warlord ran away because he was scared. Um, only killed one Bomb Squig in close combat, and then I killed three Banshees back. They held. Over here, the big Stompy guy took four total wounds and then um, killed most of that unit, but I used my last two command points to keep them in check. Uh, one wound left on the KFF mech, and one damage to the mech gun over here. Four damage to this bunker. And that was it, so... Going on to my turn two. Okay, so into turn two, knocked down the flyer. Um, got the Banshees down to one wound on the Exarch. Uh, killed five of the Scorpions, the other two more ran away. Uh, killed three of the Fire Dragons, or two? Um, got this guy down to one wound. Got him down to, he, uh, he's taken 10, so he's got 14 left. Uh, this guy held. Uh, did kill the War Banner, though. Um, Let's see, I think that's pretty much all that happened. So going on to top of three. Okay, so middle of turn three. A Wraith Knight came in, blew up the building, assaulted the Ludas, killed them, uh, piled into the Grog Gunners. This one annoying warlock charged both mech guns, tying them up. And these scorpions charged in, finished off the banshees, finished off the war boss, finished off the boys. Um, that was it, so going on to my turn. Three. Okay, so end of turn three over here was able to wipe out the uh, scorpions. Uh, Tank Busters did a sh crap ton of wounds to that thing. He's down to what, eight? Um, XRs over there, or those two Dire Avengers took the objective. Uh, tried to kill them off, no such luck. Uh, killed one more of those guys. And that was about it. So going on to top of four. Okay. So, into the game, unfortunately we are out of time. Uh, so, he was about to charge into the tank busters. He failed to destroy that truck, it's on its last wound. That one's got three. Um, there's not a lot left. He had, what, six, eight Dire Avengers, two Fire Dragons, a couple characters, and six wounds left on the Wraith Knight. And I had just some my, all my mech guns and one bunker with eight wounds, so. Um, I really don't know how it would have gone if, we, if we had time to play it out, but at this point it's going to be a victory for the Eldar.